Well, this plant is so awesome that I thought it deserved its very own video. Welcome to the small scape. Yes, we're going to do a plant spotlight on a very, I think it's an underappreciated plant. It's Crypt Parva. And here are five reasons why I think this is a must have plant for any nano tank. First of all, a little bit of a background. Where is this plant from? It's from Sri Lanka and it actually is found in the edges and in the shallow parts of very fast moving rivers there. And it's usually found mass planted, which is frequently where you will uh, find it aquascaped too. And it looks really great when you mass plant it. I really think that it looks like a combination between maybe like a micro sword and a regular crypt plant. It's, it's a combination because it's just, it's, it's really cool. It starts out very, very skinny and then it kind of widens out. It's almost like little blades of grass. I love them. They're very user friendly and they're just, uh, they're amazing little plants. And, uh, and here's your fun fact. This is the smallest of the crypt plants and crypt parva. Parva is Latin for small, just like Magna is Latin for large. Parva is Latin for small. I just thought that was a fun, fun fact. Now this plant I find it does very well in our water. We do actually have pretty hard water uh, temperatures that it does really well in is anywhere from 70 to low 80s. And the pH, a wide range of pH from five and a half to seven and a half, we're like up around eight and, and Cryparva does great in our water. And it is a low light plant, which makes it very easy to care for in any kind of kit tank and it grows, the propagation is, it grows via runners, which means it will eventually send out runners and little plants will pop up and it will also actually form new plants along the mother plant as well. So it's really super user friendly, easy, and really cute. All right, here are your five reasons why I think it, it can go really great in any kind of nano tank. First off, it is very versatile. It can go in pretty much any kind of aquascaping style it would go great. We did have a question on our live stream at Primetime Aquatics this last week, uh, a plant that would be great for a riverscape. And I immediately thought of Crypt Parva just because, well, it, that's where it does actually come from. That's where it grows. And when you mass plant it along a little riverbed uh, looking biotope, it would look really, really cute. And it fits in pretty much any nano tank, 20 gallons and under, it would be a natural. You don't have to worry about it getting too big. It only reaches about two inches tall and it's just got a fun little texture. I, I find myself a little bit obsessed in this with this plant lately. It goes in a lot of my scapes that I've done recently. If you've been watching the channel for any time, you probably know that already. I, I, I really like to use it around hardscaping, so it just kind of looks like little patches of grass just popping up. It looks really natural, but you can also mass plant it, which leads me to number two, which makes it so awesome, is it's a great replacement for something like dwarf hair grass. If you love that carpeted look and you don't have, you don't run high light CO2 and dwarf hair grass is not your best friend, well, this is a great alternative along with micro sword, which is really kind of fun. These, these are two options that you can think of micro sword and Crypt Parva if you want to mass plant it and make it look like a nice carpet. Number three, I really find that it's both easy to find and easy to care for. I usually find it at Pet Co in their tissue culture plants. They're, uh, they're usually there. And also at Flip Aquatics, they are a channel sponsor, but if you are looking for plants, they uh, almost always have Crip Parva in stock there. And I've gotten a number of uh, my plants from there and they do just wonderful. And uh, in, in regards to care, like I've alluded to earlier, is they're, they're just, just a great plant, super easy to care for because it doesn't need CO2. It, it does fine in low to medium light. So any of your smaller tanks that came as a kit, you just have regular ordinary lighting. Mine does great and uh, it, it won't overrun your tank. It's, it's just great. Number four, if you do have nano tanks and we're talking really small nano tanks, maybe even a gallon or two gallons and you, you just, you're just even using it as a water garden, this is a great plant for you to consider because you don't have to worry about it overtaking your tank. 
it only gets two inches tall, it stays small, and it doesn't maybe something like a Valsneria that pops up and will cause yourself maintenance. I've done that before in a very small bookshelf tank. I caused myself a lot of maintenance. This will not. It, it's slow growing and it stays small and it's just really perfect for those nano tanks, even the smaller ones. And number five, I'm gonna throw this on here as a number five. For me, for my personal experience, I have never had it melt like the regular crypt plants. So if you do love crypts, but you've gotten them home before and they melt, which means the leaves, they kind of turn mushy and they fall off and it's really gross and it's kind of sad, especially if you set up your aquascape and then your leaves disappear. Maybe the first time you pulled your plant out and tossed it, but these Crip Parva, for whatever reason, they have never melted for me, which makes them even easier to care for. So those are my five reasons why you, sh you should, you might want to consider Crypt Parva for your, for your next aquascaping build, even for really small nano tanks or uh, any, any kind of aquarium for that matter, because it's just a great all around plant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, do you have this plant? Um, do you love it? Uh, have you not tried it yet? If you haven't, I'd give it a shot. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.